Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness from Breast Cancer Answers. You know, I have lots of patients who are taking anti-hormonal therapy and periodically questions come up about the effects of the anti-hormone therapy and specifically, do they impact future imaging studies of the breast and should I be concerned about taking the therapy when I'm having other surgical procedures? Well, before answering these questions, let me take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index, a test which may help women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer to decide with their doctors whether to extend or end anti-estrogen therapy after five years. Well, when it comes to other effects, if you will, of tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors, two areas that I think are of interest. One is, what's the impact on future mammograms or ultrasound or breast MRI examinations? And also, if you're having other surgical procedures or even breast surgical procedures, do you need to stop or not take your anti-hormonal therapy for those procedures? Well, let me deal with the first question about the density of the breast and the impact of the anti-hormone therapy on breast density. In fact, it should lower the density of the breast. We've known for some period of time, particularly through some prospective studies, that patients who are on tamoxifen, their breasts will become less dense. This is true of other anti-estrogen uh, forms of therapy, including those for osteoporosis uh, treatment or the aromatase inhibitors. Interestingly, as the breast becomes less dense, potentially then the mammograms become more sensitive because as you have less dense breast tissue, that's generally replaced with normal fatty tissue. So it is indeed a way of monitoring that the anti-hormone therapy is working and you should see less density of the breast. Now we do know that in a small number of patients, being on tamoxifen can lead to the development of blood clots that could break off and go to the lungs and do bad things of that sort. Now anybody who has that history would clearly be on some sort of anticoagulant therapy. But if you've got an upcoming surgical procedure and you're on tamoxifen or on an anti-hormone aromatase inhibitor therapy, should you stop the therapy in order to undergo the surgical procedure? And in general, the answer is no. Are there some exceptions? Potentially, yes, but that's the kind of issue that you should discuss with whoever is prescribed for you the anti-hormone therapy, who that physician will take into account other aspects of your health and to make a decision at the time. But in general, when you're undergoing other surgical procedures, you usually do not need to stop tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor. So I'm hoping that you found these uh, uh, answers to be helpful to you. As I wrap this video up, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond year five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your physician.